hey guys welcome back to the channel it's katrin and adobe here again with another hairstyle video today i'll be showing you guys how i made this cute bantu knot on adobe so if that's the reason you are here why not grab your tools if you're already in the process of making it or grab your popcorn if not and with no further ado let us dive right in you guys just take a look at how thick adobe's hair is like oh my goodness <laughs> so because of that i always have to spray water well in this case it was clove water i always have to spray water brush out in a gradual way like prepping her hair for any hairstyle take me a while i'm not even kidding at all so guys i just want to quickly mention that if you know any hair brand or you have a brand a hair product brand that will help my child's hair to soften reach out to me i am ready to work with you all i am ready to collaborate i can influence your product by using the product of my child's hair to soften it because i am tired of dealing with hearty hair for that i'll pat out a straight line from ear to ear and then i will go ahead to start section in the back like i will leave the front for later if i'm not mistaken okay yeah of course i will leave the front for later and i'll go ahead to start patting the back and for the back i will start you know patting a straight line just watch what i'm doing i, I i'm not gonna be talking much in this video literally i'm not in the mood to talk <laughs> does that even make any sense but yeah seriously <laughs> let's just be watching but for sure i will chip in some words when need be So I am done sectioning out the back. You guys just saw what I did. I patted them in a chunky form, just chunky and square bosses, you know. And yeah, so moving on to the front, I just patted out this line. Right now I'm just gonna start feeding in braid. Okay, right now I'm just gonna start braiding a feeding. Does that make any sense? Anyways, <laughs> so this is me trying to feed in cornrows, but you can just do cornrows if you don't know how to feed in because feeding in is kind of different from normal or ordinary cornrows and is it can be difficult if you have never done it. So you can just do a cornrow using your extension well you can do this trust me just watch closely how i'm doing my and i am sure you can recreate yours anyways i just showed you guys three strands of um you know those tiny extensions but i use more than that i think i use up to five c's yeah so just not that So after I was done feeding in those two at the side, I went on ahead to the middle to pat a straight line, yeah, and thereafter I patted this side as well, this front, okay, I braided or I fed in or I did two feeding cornrows here as well, just like I did two on the side, so just keep on watching.
so guys after feeding in two cornrows on this side as well i was left with some hair in the middle which i further put into rubber bands and i repeated the same thing on the other side so now is the main deal now it's time for the band to knot for that i will braid out the ends of the hair i formerly put into rubber band and after that i will insert my crochet needle underneath the hair and then i'll put some strands of braiding extension pull it out and i will go ahead to put her natural hair that is her hair in the middle in between the extension and i'll wrap it together you know like i will start wrapping it in the clockwise abby is that anti-clockwise motion i can't think right now okay so i'll just twist it to one side and from twisting you just bend it over to keep on twisting further and it will start giving you this pure spira yeah i think it's spira this motion yeah <laughs> you guys i've already said that i am not in the mood for voiceover today so i'm sorry whatever you see take it okay <laughs> but yeah that is pretty much it it's quite easy yeah i think it's easy i will do this process for each and every one of them but before that one thing i will mention is you will try when you are doing when you are at this stage before you start braiding out rather you try to release the tension from the hair due to the rubber band or better still during the time you were putting the hair into rubber bands you try as much as you can so that you don't apply tension to the scalp because when it comes to twisting with the extension it kind of put um, pressure to this cap so just to prevent that whole pressure from happening release the tension before you put in the extension just like this one you see how it's not tight from the root yeah yes that's how you will make it and after twisting after the whole twisting round you will notice that it won't be as loose as it was before twisting just keep on watching you will see what i'm talking about it won't be loose after the whole twisting around and everything yeah so just imagine assuming it was tied to the roots before twisting and you go ahead to twist and everything just imagine the amount of pressure you know it will apply to this cap or the wood so take note of this it is really important yeah see what i'm talking about it's no longer as loose as it was before i started twisting or when i put in the extension you guys get what i'm saying yeah yes and we are done pretty much done with that so right now i'm putting in some beads to accessorize what is kiddies hairstyle without accessories tell me tell me <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna pop in some colorful accessories some colorful beads and tie it up yeah The next thing I went on ahead to do was to use my light, my lighter to kind of burn the left out, the leave out, yeah. Instead of using scissors, because I can't trim this one considering the style, I decided to use a lighter so there is no much hair left out or leave out whatever and this is the finished look you guys tell me what you think, you guys can see that my baby is not happy, she's not smiling, she's not her usual excited self whenever i'm done making her hair that was because i mistakenly injured her or kind of she had a little bit of an accident while i was making this hair she wasn't happy she cried as a matter of fact and i was i felt so bad i knew how painful it must have been to her i'm not gonna explain i'm not gonna say how i hurt her but it's not about the hair or anything and no i didn't beat her okay it was an accident and um, i tried cheering her up by giving her this soda but it didn't really cheer her up as much so that is the end of this video and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and see you in my next one bye bye